today's video is going to be another extremely detailed video, but this time it is about how to pose a non-model for a full body photo. So hi everyone, this is Jiggy, a portrait and wedding photographer from the Philippines and welcome to the channel. So before anything else, if you guys haven't subscribed to the channel and would want to learn more about off-camera flash photography or maybe just photography in general, then this channel is for you. So you might want to consider subscribing and while you're at it, click that notification bell so that you get notified every time I upload a new video. And if you want to see some of my images, you could always find me on Instagram. It's at Jiggy Alejandrino. So welcome once again to my small home studio. And for you guys who are not familiar with the channel, this is a relatively small shooting area of about 2 meters wide and this time about 4 meters deep. But today's video is more about how to pose a non-model rather than lighting. But of course, I can't do a video without really explaining the light. And today's video is going to be very simple. We're going to be using this. Basically, my existing ambient light, but my ambient light is not ordinary ambient light because it is still created by some beautiful lights here in the studio. And what are these lights? Basically, I have this one. This is a Nanlite FS60 with a strip light that's giving me that nice room light. However, since I will have my subject here, I don't think it's going to be affecting her too much. What you're going to be seeing is coming from this. This is a Nanlite FS300B with a 120cm lantern modifier. And that's the light that we're going to be using to photograph my non-model today, who will be my wife, Coco. But before I call her in, I think it's best that we discuss the camera system also that I will be using. So the camera that I'm using is my Sony A7 Mark IV, and the lens that I'll be using is my 24-70 f2.8 GM2. The reason why I chose the 24-70 is because I might want to zoom in and out, but basically it's just a very flexible lens and one of my favorite lens here in the studio. Now you could see all these things that are connected to my camera, and you guys have been asking what it is. Well, this is basically a new one. It's a geared head from Benro, and I cannot believe that this is the first time that I've actually used it because it just makes so much sense in the studio because it's easier for me to actually dial in those minute levels to my camera to get that perfect angle without having to worry about releasing a ball head and making it fall over. Like if I just want to lift it this way, it's very easy for me to do it. Now, all these monitors that you see are basically one is recording whatever my camera is seeing. Therefore, every single image that you will be seeing is straight out of the camera. And this one is the one that basically allows my subject to see how he or she will look like, which is connected to my recorder. Now, this one is also a new tripod. It's from Benro. It's uh, the Rhino series, the carbon fiber series. And these things are all from iFootage. You know what? I'll just put the link in the description below. Now, what are my settings? Well, right now, since I'm using existing ambient light or basically continuous light, I can afford to put it on aperture priority just to see how more or less the exposure will be. The thing is, the only thing I will set is really my white balance, which is set now at 5600 Kelvin. Yes, this is an extremely detailed video on posing, but it's also a lighting video because this existing ambient light or this artificial light that I am using can easily be replaced with a flash or this would actually look good already while I'm shooting. Now with all those things out of the way, I think it's time for me to call in Coco. Babe, come on in. Hi, babe. Hi. Babe. Okay, so one thing when you're shooting a non-model, stay here first, oh. babe. All right, one thing when you're shooting a non-model, it's very important to make that person feel comfortable, right? Mm -hmm. Since they're a non-model, being in front of the camera is very intimidating. Mm -hmm. And for you guys who are familiar with the channel or who've been watching our videos, Contrary to popular belief, are you a professional model? No. No, Coco's not a professional model. She's just doing this because, well, we enjoy doing this, right? And we do enjoy sharing. But one thing remember when we started out is that it was always very important for you to be comfortable in front of the camera. Yes. So that's step number one. Always make sure that your model or your subject is comfortable in front of the camera. And the best way to do that is really to talk have a relationship already. I'm not talking about a relationship like ours, but have a connection. And at the same time, you also have to make sure that when you're posing them, you make them believe you know what you're doing, even though you don't. Just make them believe it, okay? Babe, take a step back. All right. So normally, non-model, the first thing you would do is when you step in front of the camera, you'll be like this. You'll be very timid, not knowing what to do, right? So 
I have about three poses that I always go to to make sure that it's just very simple for them to do. One big mistake also is when you try to make a non-model pose model poses, right? That's the worst thing because they would look very awkward. It wouldn't look very natural. So just follow this three very simple poses and you should be all right. Okay, let's start off with this one. To go for a very, let's say, aggressive pose. Do you consider it aggressive? Maybe powerful. But yeah, actually that's better. Powerful, a powerful pose. How do you get a powerful pose? So all you have to do is ask your subject to put her feet apart, both toes facing towards me. And you notice immediately the moment she did that, all she has to do now is put her arms on her waist and that becomes a very powerful pose, right? So let's take a few shots of that, babe. Perfect. And by the way, of course I can call Coco babe because she is my wife, but don't call your, not your subjects babe, okay? Call them by their first name. So maybe this time let's practice and call you Coco. All right, okay, Coco. All right, so let's have a few more of that. By just doing that, you see that all of a sudden her pose becomes very, very powerful. So afterwards, maybe we could do a more feminine pose. A more feminine pose is very simple. It's like this. The back foot, make it 90 degrees towards the camera. There we go or that's a back foot that you want since this is our main light right here. She will be facing towards here. So her back foot now is her left foot. So her back foot should be 90 degrees towards the camera and her front foot should be pointed towards the camera. And that's it. That's basically how it is. You could see immediately the moment she did that, can you go back to the, to the very um, powerful pose there? From here, that's powerful. Go back, go now to that pose. All of a sudden it becomes such a feminine pose. From there, all you have to do is ask her to put her hand on her hip like that. And let's take a few shots, beautiful, right? And one of the most important things is that after every shot, make sure to compliment your subject. Well, of course you are beautiful really, but it looks fantastic, all right, perfect. That's already a very nice feminine pose. Now, if you wanna tweak it a little bit more, what you can do is the front foot, you could ask her to lift the heel of her front foot and twist her knee towards the inner foot. There we go. And by doing that, you see the shape that was created. Again, bring it down, babe. Oh, I'm sorry, Coho. Okay, all right. So lift up the heel of your front foot, twist your knee in. It gives more shape. You feel sexy here? Yes. There we go, perfect. And where's the weight? At the back leg. There. See, now immediately she can feel, you can relax first, immediately she can feel that the weight of her body is in her back foot. And what happens when it's in the back foot? It feels more stable. It feels more stable. What will happen? Try putting your weight on your front foot. It just feels weird, but it, it, you can't seem to get that pose, right? So have the weight in the back foot. Let's do it again. Twist your knee to the side. Fantastic. There we go. And from these three little things, you can now play around. And then lastly, make sure that when you're posing them, you're not just posing the feet, you're also posing the hands. Now, when she was in her aggressive stance, or sorry, powerful stance, can you go back to your powerful stance? We were creating symmetry. So it's fine to have her hands more or less um, parallel to each other. However, in the more feminine pose, it's always best not to have the hands parallel to each other. So can we go down to the, to the feminine pose? You could always have one hand lower than the other. In this case, it was maybe I'd rather your right hand lower than your left. There we go. So it's up to you guys to play. All right, let's take a few more shots. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And that's how simple posing really is. Don't overcomplicate it. Come on, come on here, babe. Thank you very much again for doing this. It's a matter of not complicating stuff, right? Because it's very important. Again, the most important is that do not expect non-models to pose like models. So many mistakes happened when, when you see a peg, right? And they would say, oh, I want this pose. When in reality, you're a non-model, you're shooting a non-model, it looks very awkward. And we've tried that also. We've tried it before, it didn't even work. So all you have to do is follow those very simple poses and from there you build. And once your subject gets more comfortable, it's gonna be easier for you to ask them to do more complicated stuff, okay? So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and if you did, please do like the video, subscribe to the channel and click that notification bell. Now this was really a very basic 
posting instructional video and at the same time we did a little bit of lighting videos or lighting instructional videos but if you have any questions feel free to leave them in the comment section below and if you want to see more of my images you could always follow me on instagram it's at jiggy alejandrino okay till the next video